Yo dudes, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm just going to be uh this is like me a part two of the uh uh the one video where I made like uh different types of uh or I showed you guys what powers and specials are really good. Uh but today I'm gonna be making the part two version where I'm gonna show you like combined specials and stuff like that that work together. Okay, so first off, we're starting with um I don't think I'm gonna be doing too, too many of these because it's just difficult. So the first one I'll do is fruits. So the seven, uh, or so for mine seven, but uh, king fruit. Uh, abilities are really good with this one that like honestly destroy in uh, tournament mode. And I'm also I'm basing basically all this stuff off tournament mode because if you're going off in this dimension, unless you guys are like literally the same levels, it's not gonna really matter. You guys, your guys' ability is gonna be the exact same, and it won't matter. It'll just uh, matter on like you know if you can. If you have this out, or if you have like a champion out, that's better. So I'm going off a tournament because it's completely not—it's not balanced. Sometimes it's really stupid what happens, but uh, it's the most—it's going to be the most balanced thing because you know level one or you know people who have uh, one uh, like fighting stats of one can beat me, which I have 1.6 net million. <coughs> anyways, or non million? I don't know if it's non million or net million, but anyways, uh, let's start now. So <coughs> king, things to go with the king fruit. Or, what I like to do is equip the king fruit, because I just learned about this now. Apparently the king fruit is just absolutely amazing in tournaments, it just kills everyone. But, uh, abilities that are really good is the king's outburst. So basically, I just go up to people, and, uh, I just basically, uh, get out my king's fruit. I use my king's fruit, because it takes a long time to activate. So I usually just equip the king's fruit, I uh, use the C ability, but then I use the K one to stop them in their tracks, and then see how this one's still going. And then I use my E, which is this, this one. Uh, and this right, this ability right there, and this ability is, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, the powers. Oh yeah, powers. And this one is in chakra. It's the ice blast one. You get pretty early on, but it's really good for stunning because well, it does stun. So honestly, all you need is the ice burst and the king's chakra, which you get the or the king's outburst, which you get that one from fighting in the. Uh, or fighting the boss in the third dimension, which honestly isn't that bad. So I would go fight the, uh, the third boss to get that. You can't really get anything too useful from him besides the king's outburst. That's like the only thing I would actually like, you know, come there and get, because there's no like a uh, durability or like ability thing that like increases your strength or dur or your in uh, your ability to take take hits and deal out damage. So the only reason I would actually fight him is because of the king's outburst. So those that those three moves right there are amazing for tournaments. Like seriously, if you have that, you can probably kill basically anyone. Obviously, you're gonna want to uh, equip that with the um, where is it? Uh, oh wait, not here. With the durability, you go into durability, and it works with it works best with. Um, so from what I found out is the explosive Noah. Obviously, I don't have all of this stuff, which this stuff might be better. I don't know yet since I don't have it. I don't. Uh, I don't have this stuff right here, which I, I'm gonna try and get them soon, but you know, I, I just need it. I, I don't even know how to get this stuff, so I'll look it up and try and figure out how to get this. But anyways, this explosive node right here is like amazing. It's probably the only ability that you're gonna actually need. You get this from completing the, uh, the turtle, turtle, or turtle guy's last quest. It's the, it, once you complete all this guy's quest, you can go over to the second dimension and complete all of the other guys' quests. And this is like the last quest, I think. Uh, I don't really remember uh, because it was so long ago. But you can also get the spring limbs, uh, which is also pretty good, which is 40% and 20%. This one's just a lot better. Uh, but the, this one you get from fighting the fourth dimension boss, which is honestly pretty difficult. But it's it's not too difficult. You could probably do it by yourself or with some people, which is nice. But um, another ability that, um, yeah, though actually those four abilities are just like amazing combined together or combined with each other uh, obviously you can like equip other abilities with it but honestly that's all I've ever used in the tournament for right now because literally King's Outburst and then those three abilities just completely destroys everything so you don't really need anything else uh, some other abilities though that if you can't like if you don't have like uh, if you're kind of starting out and you don't really have the amazing ability or not amazing but the, uh, the uh, explosive Nova then uh, you might have to use some different moves. So ultimate combination is a uh, power combination. It's also a really good one uh, because it does basically the same thing as uh, 
Here, let me get out here. It does, uh, let's just say it as, like, I don't know, Y or something. Okay, at uh, you. L? Oh my, do I have every single one equipped something? Okay, let's just get rid of this. Clear. B. There we go. Okay, this one right here, it does this, which is basically the same thing as this one right here. It just is way faster. So you can use both of these at the same time, and it'll honestly just be amazing together. You get the power combination by defeating the, uh, the fourth dimension boss again. If you need people, just probably just ask some friends or honestly just people on the server. And most people will help you if, you know, they're defeating the boss already. That'd be, that'd be fine with them. So, yeah, those those abilities are really good together. And um, those that's actually probably all you'll need. And the best part about the King's Fruit is you can just find around the map. There's, there is no dimension that gives uh, fruits more. I, I think at least. I, I think the, the first dimension and the second dimension... Uh, I found the most fruits in, but I, I honestly don't know if there's uh, if it there is a different spawn rate. But yeah, th this dimension I find them around here and on the second island over there, the portal island, in that direction. But uh, yeah, they're usually either by this library, like in this this area right here, is usually where I find them all, and over on the second island, just around the second island. Uh, but yeah, so the king's fruit is just you don't have to spend any money to get it. If you can't find it and you're just getting stuck on tsunami. Which I got the Tsunami one and the Earthquake one like eight times before I got this. Uh, you can you can buy it, which I don't know why you would, but it's like it's not even like a guarantee. Also, I'm pretty sure you can get it on the uh, offers too. Sometimes it has it on here, but uh, you can yeah, random for for uh, 150 Robux, which I would not suggest buying this at all because it's a random fruit. It's not even like a one that you want to choose. It's like so not worth it. Anyways, uh, yeah, those those abilities are just the best for tournament for right now. Uh, and then you have a champion that's good for healing and doing damage. Like, I'm using, uh, wh where is he? Macro? Marco? Marco? Yeah, Marco. Uh, which he's, uh, he's, he isn't very good for, like, you know, dirt buffs all dam while going, outgoing damage and nurse all incoming damage. But he's amazing for the healing. The healing is, I'm pretty sure, the best in, like, out of any character in the game. And he also gives like way better buffs than any healing character. Which I think the only healing ones are right now are uh, the Battle Pass one, Nezuko. And the one that you can get uh, up here, which is Sakura. Which, uh, yeah, it's pretty terrible. Like, that's really bad. It's literally half of uh, Marco's. So, yeah. Uh, you won't be able to get Marco anymore because it's in an earlier fighting pass. Uh, but uh, Nezuko is probably the best one that you can find for right now. Until they add in someone who's better. Which, honestly, I really want a Saitama champion. I have, uh, I, I bought this one costume for Saitama. Uh, Saitama, I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing him right. But, uh, yeah, I bought this one costume and I, I tried to get Genos. But, uh, since there was a glitch going around where you just sold random champ, I kind of ended up selling Genos, which I've been trying to get him for, like, so long. And I ended up just selling him, which is kind of sad because, like, I really wanted Genos. He was like the one character that like I was just trying to get so I could put back my Saitama costume and be like, Hey guys, I am this guy and you know, look at me, uh, look at me go. So it'd be great if a Saitama champion actually was added into the game. I don't really care, I just wanted to be strong, give you good uh, buffs, and that's about it. I don't really care if he trains a lot, I just really want a cool Saitama champion. That would be, that would be awesome. Uh, I got a little bit sidetracked, but uh, yeah. So, the King's Fruit is all you'll really need for the, uh, uh, the tournament dimension, but if you can't really find a King's Fruit and it's just easier to get a Curse Technique, get the Limitless ability. And this ability, the C Unlimited Void, you could, uh, you could also, uh, what's it called? Oh yeah, also you can combine the Unlimited Void with the Fruit, because you can just trap them in dimension, and then just spam this, the King Fruit on them, which also really works. Uh, or, you could just use the Limitless if you don't have the King Fruit. And just use the Limitless and then uh, get them into the Void. And then while they're in the Void, you can just spam every single ability you have. It literally just spam every single ability you have. It doesn't matter what abilities are good for it. Just spam, I mean every single ability you have. Like, if you have Serious Punch, Star Spangled Banner, Rapid Punch, every single ability works on in the dimension because you're going to be right next to them. They can't do anything about it. Just use any moves you have. Even if you, like, you don't have very many abilities, just spam them all. It's, it's just so good. 
So those are the two best ones for tournament, in my opinion. Obviously, you guys can have different ones. I just have yet to find one that's actually better. So obviously, there are probably some that are better, but you know, I just haven't found any. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you guys did enjoy, uh, you guys could uh, either show your support by leaving a like. It helps. Uh, I honestly don't really know what it helps with. It just shows that you guys really like the video, and I am thankful for that. Because it truly means a lot when I see a video of mine that actually has a lot of likes on it. I think the most video, I think my my most popular one has 109 likes on it, and I'm just like, wow, that is truly amazing. So uh, thank you guys so much for that. Uh, you guys always leave comments. Uh, it really, I really love reading all of them. It's so much fun. I just love re uh, responding to them and you know, like talking to you guys. It, it feels nice. Uh, and then lastly, you could guys could subscribe. Which, this helps out my channel the most because it shows that you guys support my channel, which is, uh, great. And, uh, yeah, I, I honestly, I'm coming, uh, yeah, subscribe just, just, if you want to. It just shows that you support my channel. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video of mine. Bye!